10 Stoic Lessons to Handle Disrespect How do you deal with disrespect? Disrespect is a common challenge that we all face in life, and it can be very upsetting and frustrating. But what if we could learn from the ancient philosophy of Stoicism, which teaches us how to handle difficult situations with wisdom and grace? In this video, we will explore 10 practical Stoic principles that can help us cope with disrespect in a better way. As usual, I challenge you to be strong and stay with me till the end of the video. Let's begin. One, keep your calm. One of the core teachings of Stoicism is that we are not disturbed by what happens to us, but by how we think about what happens to us. As Epictetus said, people are disturbed not by things, but by the view they take of them. This means that disrespect is not inherently harmful or offensive. It is our interpretation and judgment of it that make us feel hurt or angry. When someone disrespects you, remember that their behavior is a result of their own thoughts, feelings, and opinions, not a reflection of your true value or worth. This can help you keep your calm and not let their disrespect affect your emotional state. Two, reflect on yourself. Another important aspect of Stoicism is the practice of self-reflection and self-examination. The Stoics believe that the quality of our thoughts determines the quality of our lives and that we should always strive to improve ourselves and our actions. As Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. When you face disrespect, it is essential to reflect on yourself and ask yourself questions like, is there any truth in what the person said or did? Did I do or say anything that provoked this situation? How can I respond in a way that is consistent with my values and virtues? By reflecting on yourself and the situation objectively, you can gain a better understanding of the event and your own role in it. Self-reflection is a stoic way of ensuring that your responses are based on rational judgment rather than impulsive reactions. It helps you learn from the situation and promotes personal growth and wisdom. Three, learn to pause. Seneca once said, whenever you are angry, be assured that it is not only a present evil, but that you have increased a habit. Stoics believe in the importance of self-control and rationality. They argue that impulsive reactions driven by intense emotions like anger or frustration often lead to poor decisions and unnecessary suffering. When faced with disrespect, the Stoic approach encourages you to avoid reacting impulsively. Instead, take a moment to pause and collect your thoughts. This pause allows you to regain control over your emotions and gives you the opportunity to respond in a more measured and thoughtful manner. By resisting the impulse to react immediately, you can better align your response with stoic principles of wisdom and self-control. This approach often leads to more constructive and less emotionally charged interactions when faced with disrespect. Pausing is a key stoic strategy to maintain composure and make rational decisions when confronted with disrespect, ultimately leading to more positive outcomes and personal growth. Four, have empathy. Epictetus and other influential Stoic philosophers say, seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves. Stoics believe in the interconnectedness of humanity and that understanding the motivations and emotions of others can lead to better interactions and personal growth. When someone shows disrespect, Stoicism suggests practicing empathy. Try to put yourself in the other person's shoes and understand their perspective. Empathy can help you see the situation from a different angle and realize that the person's disrespect may not be personal or intentional. It may be caused by their own insecurities, fears, or ignorance. Empathy can also help you feel compassion for the person and reduce your negative feelings towards them. By empathizing with the person who disrespected you, you can avoid taking their words or actions personally and respond in a more respectful and dignified manner. Empathy helps you to understand the person's perspective, feelings, and motivations. Instead of getting angry or defensive, you can respond with kindness and respect. This way, you can avoid escalating the conflict and maintain your dignity. Empathy also reflects the stoic principles of wisdom, compassion, and self-improvement. It enables you to learn from challenging situations and grow as a person. By practicing empathy, you can cope with disrespect in a more positive and constructive way. Five, concentrate on virtue. One of the main ideas of Stoicism is to develop virtues such as wisdom and courage. 
These are the qualities that help us live well and act rightly. Seneca, a famous Stoic philosopher, wrote that virtue is nothing else than right reason. This means that being virtuous is the same as being rational and consistent with the natural order of things. Stoics believe that virtue is the highest good in life and that everything else is indifferent. When we face disrespect from others, Stoicism teaches us to focus on virtue in our response. This does not mean that we should ignore or tolerate the disrespect, but rather that we should respond in a way that reflects our Stoic values and principles. By focusing on virtue, we can avoid being influenced by our emotions, maintain our dignity and integrity, and grow as a person. Stoicism challenges us to be the best version of ourselves even in difficult situations. 6. Embrace acceptance. One of the key lessons of Stoicism is to accept the things that are not in our control, such as the disrespect of others. Epictetus said, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This means that we should be grateful for what we have and not worry about what we lack. Stoicism also teaches us to distinguish between what is in our control and what is not, which is known as the Stoic dichotomy of control. We can only control our own thoughts, feelings, and actions, but not the external events or the behavior of others. Therefore, when we face disrespect, we should not let it affect our inner peace. Instead, we should accept it as a part of life and focus on what we can do to improve ourselves and our situation. By accepting disrespect with stoicism, we can avoid unnecessary anger, frustration, and resentment. We can also learn from the experience and grow as a person. This helps us to deal with disrespect in a rational and calm way. 7. Use humor. Sometimes a little laughter goes a long way. As the ancient philosopher Seneca said, you have mastered yourself when you know how to deal with what you should not take seriously. Stoicism teaches us to control our emotions and act rationally, but it also recognizes the value of humor in coping with challenging situations. Humor can help us keep our emotional balance and avoid getting too angry or annoyed when someone disrespects us. Instead of letting our emotions get the best of us, we can choose to respond with a witty remark or a playful joke. Of course, humor should not be used inappropriately or excessively, but it can be a useful stoic technique to handle disrespect in a way that creates a more positive and peaceful outcome. 8. Set clear boundaries. Stoicism is not about being a doormat, it's about being a rock. A rock that stands firm in the face of disrespect and injustice. A rock that knows its worth and demands respect from others. A rock that controls what it can and lets go of what it can't. When someone disrespects you, you don't have to take it lying down. You don't have to lash out in anger either. You can be calm and assertive. You can tell them what they did wrong and how you expect them to treat you. You can set clear and reasonable boundaries that protect your dignity and self-respect. This is what Stoicism teaches us. It teaches us to be strong, just, and courageous. It teaches us to respect ourselves and others. It teaches us to maintain our inner control and our outer dignity in, in any situation. 9. Choose forgiveness. Imagine someone disrespects you. How do you react? Do you lash out in anger or do you let it go? The ancient philosophy of Stoicism has some wisdom to offer. Stoics believe that forgiveness is not a favor to the other person, but a gift to yourself. Forgiveness is the key to inner peace and happiness, but forgiveness is not easy. It does not mean forgetting or approving of what happened. It means choosing to release the negative emotions that are hurting you more than anyone else. Stoics say that we should forgive all, but not indiscriminately. We should forgive wisely with compassion and justice. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we can't. We can't control how others behave, but we can control how we respond. We can choose to forgive and free ourselves from the burden of anger and resentment. We can choose to move on with a sense of inner peace and tranquility. That's what Stoicism means by forgiveness. It's not a weakness, but a strength. It's not a surrender, but a victory. It's not a sacrifice, but a reward. Forgiveness is the ultimate act of self-care and personal growth. 10. Change your perspective. Perspective is the ability to see things from a broader and more objective point of view. It helps you to avoid overreacting or taking things personally when someone disrespects you. Instead, 
it helps you to realize that disrespect is not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. As the Stoic Emperor Marcus Aurelius said, our life is what our thoughts make it. When you use perspective, you can see that most cases of disrespect are minor and temporary. They do not affect your true worth or happiness. You can also see that disrespect is often a reflection of the other person's ignorance, insecurity, or weakness, not yours. You can choose to ignore it, forgive it, or learn from it, rather than letting it bother you. Perspective also helps you to focus on what really matters in life, your goals, values, and virtues. You can use your energy and time to pursue what is good and meaningful for you, rather than wasting them on resentment or revenge. By doing so, you can live a more fulfilling and peaceful life. So next time you face disrespect, remember to use perspective. It will help you to keep your cool and act wisely. Always remember that stoicism is not about suppressing your emotions, but managing them well. By applying these 10 principles, you can stay calm and strong when you face disrespect and rude behavior. 10. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is a powerful tool that can help us navigate through challenging situations, including disrespect. By being fully present in the moment and aware of our thoughts and emotions, we can observe the disrespectful behavior without immediately reacting to it. Mindfulness allows us to detach ourselves from the situation and approach it with clarity and objectivity. Through mindfulness, we can recognize the impact of the disrespectful behavior on our emotions and choose how to respond in a deliberate and thoughtful manner. It enables us to cultivate a sense of inner calm and resilience, reducing the likelihood of being overwhelmed by disrespectful actions. Mindfulness also fosters self-awareness, enabling us to identify any patterns or triggers that contribute to our emotional reactions to disrespect. By practicing regular mindfulness exercises, such as meditation or deep breathing, we can develop a greater sense of emotional well-being and navigate disrespect more effectively. 11. Communicate assertively. Stoicism does not advocate for passive or aggressive responses to disrespect. Instead, it encourages assertiveness, which involves expressing one's thoughts, feelings, and boundaries in a respectful yet firm manner. Assertive communication allows us to stand up for ourselves while maintaining our dignity and respect for others. When faced with disrespect, we can use assertive statements to address the issue directly. For example, we can calmly state, I feel disrespected when you speak to me in that tone. I expect to be treated with respect. By expressing our concerns assertively, we assert our self-worth and establish clear expectations for how we deserve to be treated. This approach promotes open and honest communication, fostering healthier relationships, and reducing the likelihood of recurring disrespect. 12. Seek support from trusted individuals. Dealing with disrespect can be emotionally draining, and it's important not to go through it alone. Stoicism teaches us the value of interconnectedness and community. Reach out to trusted friends, family members, or mentors who can provide guidance and support during challenging times. These individuals can offer a fresh perspective, offer advice, or simply lend a listening ear. Sharing your experiences with others can help alleviate feelings of isolation and frustration, and it can reaffirm your worth and value. Remember, seeking support is not a sign of weakness, but a recognition of the human need for connection and understanding. Together, you can explore different strategies and perspectives to handle disrespect more effectively, ultimately promoting personal growth and resilience. 13. Foster self-compassion. Stoicism emphasizes self-improvement and personal growth, but it is equally important to practice self-compassion in the face of disrespect. Recognize that being disrespected does not diminish your inherent worth or value as a person. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding, acknowledging that everyone experiences disrespect at times. Instead of berating yourself for how you reacted or feeling ashamed, practice self-compassion by offering yourself forgiveness and understanding. Remind yourself that your emotions are valid and that you are doing the best you can in navigating difficult situations. By cultivating self-compassion, you can build resilience and bounce back from disrespectful encounters with greater ease. This self-compassion also extends to the understanding that growth and learning are ongoing processes, and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. 14. Cultivate gratitude. 
Gratitude is a powerful antidote to feelings of disrespect and negativity. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we have rather than fixating on what we lack. By cultivating gratitude, we shift our perspective from dwelling on disrespectful encounters to appreciating the positive aspects of our lives. Take a moment each day to reflect on the things you are grateful for, whether it's your loved ones, your health, or the opportunities you have. Fostering a sense of gratitude helps to counteract the negative effects of disrespect, reminding us of the abundance and blessings in our lives. By practicing gratitude regularly, we can cultivate a more positive mindset and find greater contentment, even in the face of disrespect. 15. Learn from role models. Stoicism encourages learning from the wisdom and examples of others. Seek out role models who embody the Stoic principles of handling disrespect with grace and wisdom. This could include historical figures, such as Marcus Aurelius or Epictetus, or individuals in your community who demonstrate resilience and composure in the face of disrespect. Reflect on their actions and attitudes and consider how you can apply their lessons to your own life. Role models can inspire us to approach disrespectful situations with greater self-awareness, composure, and wisdom. By learning from those who have mastered the art of handling disrespect, we can continue to grow and develop our own resilience in the face of adversity. 16. Embrace personal growth. Stoicism is not merely a set of principles, but a philosophy that promotes personal growth and self-improvement. Embrace the opportunity for growth that disrespectful encounters present. Reflect on each experience as a chance to learn more about yourself, your triggers, and your values. Use moments of disrespect as catalysts for self-reflection, considering how you can respond in a way that aligns with your stoic principles and fosters personal development. Each encounter can deepen your understanding of stoicism and refine your ability to handle disrespect more effectively. In conclusion, stoicism offers valuable lessons for handling disrespect. By keeping calm and reflecting on ourselves, we can respond with wisdom and grace. Pausing allows us to regain control over our emotions, while empathy helps us understand others' perspectives. Focusing on virtue and setting clear boundaries protect our dignity. Forgiveness and changing our perspective promote inner peace. Mindfulness, assertive communication, seeking support, self-compassion, gratitude, learning from role models, and embracing personal growth are all essential in navigating disrespectful situations. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate resilience, self-improvement, and a positive mindset, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling and peaceful life.